Hey guys, it's Jim. How you doing? I thought I'd do a quick video about five reasons why you should get Aurora HDR 2018 right now. Okay, so I'm going to start with number one. Number one is natural HDR. The photos look incredible coming out of this. This is a base HDR. I've done nothing to the photo other than take a three exposure bracket and dump it in Aurora and just look at it. I mean, you could literally say, all right, I'm done. Print. Let's ship that thing, right? So I look at this photo. Now, you know me, I love to edit photos, so I'm not going to leave it like this. I'm just saying you could, right? So that's number one. Very natural. Skies look great. Colors look great. Details look great. It really is incredible. I don't see, you know, halos in photos. I've been trying hard to create halos in my photos just to see if I can get them, and I'm not finding them. So natural HDR is a huge advantage to Aurora HDR 2018, and that's why it's reason number one. So now I'm going to move on to reason number two. Let me get that photo for you. Okay, reason number two are, it's really two things. It's the lens correction and the transform tool. It's really two different tools, both amazing. I use them together, and so in tandem, I kind of consider it one thing because it's about the idea of sort of realigning the vertical lines and fixing leaning buildings like this one and that sort of thing. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'll start with lens correction. That's where I normally start. Uh, if you shoot with a wide angle lens, you can get one kind of distortion. If you shoot with a telephoto zoom, you can get a different kind of distortion. Basically, the distortion tool allows you to basically fix that stuff. That's very technical, I know. But I'm going to apply lens correction, and then I come over here to the vertical. And if you've ever shot with a uh, wide angle lens and you're somewhat close to a building, for example, and you're looking up, it looks like it's leaning backwards. And buildings, well, ideally buildings don't lean. They shouldn't lean. And the photos often with a wide angle lens will make them look like they're leaning. So let me get this back up here. I want it to be. And so now with the transform tool, you can fix that. And it's amazing. I've been loving it and I've been playing with it a lot. And I'm very happy with this tool. So I hit apply. Now I'm going to do a little crop as well because I want to get in here and crop this. It's not perfectly centered. Uh, and in fact, it's not even straight. So that's what I'm doing there. Um, I'm just doing this quickly, so that may not be perfect, but let me show you the before and after. And yeah, I see a couple of spots in the sky. This isn't a tutorial on how to edit the photo uh, for that sort of thing. This is a tutorial to show you what before and after can be, uh, you know, what results you can get with the lens correction of the transform tool. So take a look at that. There's the before. Building, wide angle, kind of leaning back, right? Now it looks much straighter from that to that, that to that. It's just massive difference and it's not something I really thought about. Sure, I've done it in Lightroom for years um, and you know I used it on some photos but now uh, because I spend so much time in Aurora creating HDRs it's really caused me to examine my photos more closely and that's a big win because the more attention you pay to something the, the better you're going to get at editing it, right? And so it's just fun. Get in here, check it out and that's why lens correction and transform is number two. Let me go get the third photo for you. Okay, and reason number three to get Aurora HDR 2018 right now, number three is the dodge and burn filter. Let me show you how that works. You just come over here, click dodge and burn, and click start painting. You can choose lighten or darken, and if you hit the X key, it'll change from one to the other. I'm gonna go with darken in this photo because I wanna darken the sidewalk and some of this stonework to balance it out a little bit. It was a sunrise shot. Um, I'm going to take the strength down to, you know, let's say 35. And with the bracket key to the right, you can increase the size of it. And I'm just kind of winging it here. I just want to show you how this works. This isn't uh, a final edit on the photo. There's a number of other things I'd want to sort of update and change in the photo. But I want to show you how this works. Done. And let me show you the before. There's the before. You can see it's really bright. The these lamps are giving off a lot of light, and of course the sun is rising sort of behind me here. Uh, but there's a lot of light coming into the stonework. I want to darken it a little bit, create a little bit more mood, and that's how you do it. Dodge and burn. Very simple, very straightforward, and very easy to use. However, very powerful, and that's why it's number three on my list. I'm going to get another photo, and I'll be right back. Okay, friends, thanks for hanging out with me. So. 
fourth feature why I think you should get Aurora HDR 2018 right now is the HDR Enhanced Slider. It's in the basic panel, it's right here. If you had Clarity, or if you have the previous version and you're familiar with the Clarity Slider, Clarity's gone, that's old news, that's last year. This year and in the future, we're talking about HDR Enhanced. And the reason it's different is because it's better. It's improved, it's not called Clarity anymore because it's not just Clarity. It brings up the texture, it brings up the detail, it makes the image really come to life, but it doesn't add artifacts and noise and things like that where you don't want them. So this is an interior interior cathedral, interior cathedral of a cathedral. I can't even talk. Um, so you won't notice it in this photo, but if you apply HDR Enhanced to a photo with a nice sky in it, you're not gonna pick up a lot of noise and junk in the sky because it's a, it's a great tool. It's really smooth. There's an example of how it works. Let me show you the before and after. There's the before and there's the after. Richer detail, great texture. I think it looks awesome. And that's why this is number four on my list, HDR Enhancer. That slider alone is just huge. So I think that's, um, that's why I rank it so high. I think you're gonna love it. I use it on every photo and I think you're gonna as well. Um, the fifth one is just the new user interface. So you're looking at this box and you have been, it's, it's smooth, it's modern, it's clean, it's intuitive, and it's frankly, it just feels new. It's got a kind of fresh look about it. And, you know, to be honest, I didn't think that the Aurora 17 version looked old or anything like that. But now that I've been in here for, you know, a week or 10 days, whatever it's been, playing with so many photos, I opened Aurora 17 to look at something and do a compare. And I was like, oh my God, this thing is like, what is this? It's so crazy. Um, it just seems so out of date. And it's, it's a great product. I mean, it's a wonderful product. I just love this UI. I've just really gotten to, to really embrace it. It's very similar to Luminar, which I use a lot, as you probably know. I just think it looks great. So it's a wonderful UI. And that's why those are my top five. So it's Natural HDR. It's the Lens Correction and Transform. It's the Dodge and Burn. It's the HDR Enhance. And it's the User Interface. But I lied. I said there are five things. And in reality, there are six things. And the sixth thing is, this thing's on pre-order through the 28th of September, where you can get a really screaming deal, plus a lot of bonuses if you buy it. Uh, before the 28th. So take advantage of that. I'll include a link down below for you to check out. You can read about it on my blog. And there's one other thing I wanted to share with you, and that's this. I took a screenshot from the MacFun website. These are the tools and features of Aurora 2018. So I've talked about five things that I like, or six if you count the, the pre-order pricing. But in addition to those five or six things, take a look at all this other stuff that's in here. There's a lot of things. Now, many of these existed in 2017. That's true, in case you're thinking that, but they're more accurate, they're more advanced, they're better to use, they're more intuitive, and, and many of them have been improved and enhanced. And so I think you're gonna have a great experience with it. I've been having a lot of fun. I think you will too. That's why I wanted to share this video, just to share my passion for it. I hope it helps, and if you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Um, if you would, subscribe like, comment, let me know that you like the video, share it with your friends, that sort of thing. I'm trying to get more people to watch these videos. I want to spread the gospel according to MacFun and uh, share my videos because I, I love doing this stuff. And I hope you get as much out of it as I get from putting them together. Thanks, my friends, for watching. I appreciate it. See you next time and adios.